at least not at least not recently. Anyway. Really? Okay. So uh, I'm just wondering how accurate a depiction is this of a, a knight in a, a lady's toilets of a nightclub? Very. <laughs> it's, it's, You'd be surprised. It's really accurate. I mean, a lot of the things are based on what the what Rachel heard, the writer, and what MJ experienced, and I think we brought a lot of stuff into it that we kind of knew and had been through as well, and. Um, yeah, a lot of it's pretty true and pretty near the mark, I think. Yeah, I think a lot of guys will be quite surprised. You know when you go off with your girlfriends and they're like, why do you all go together? Why have you taken so long? Yeah, and well, that's what goes on. There's tears, vomiting. Oh, God, all fixing sorts. Fixing each other's clothes. I mean, yeah. and all kinds of talk. Cool sex. Lots of crude like, talk as well. Crude talk, filth. <laughs> Absolutely filth. I mean, you come out like a lady, but you don't know what goes on behind those toilets. Yeah. It's awful. Shocking. I mean, of course, it's overstated for kind of for comic effect, but this kind of this more sort of vulgar, more um, sort of yeah, but as you say, kind of filthy. But it's more honest, though, isn't it? It's not sort of It's real. Today. It's a warts and all. You know, that's what really goes on, and it's and it's modern women today. You know, the loads of young girls are going to relate to this, and it's so nice and refreshing to see a film that's about real women and about what really goes on, yeah. rather than this. You know. Yeah, and one that's the one place you kind of let your boundaries go. You know, if yeah. you're in a club or somewhere, you know, you're kind of on show, and everybody's kind of playing that game and then you go into the toilets and it's just like, oh, okay, sort yourself out. Okay, you, you're talking to anyone, you're borrowing people's makeup, you're kind of, and, you yeah. know, you've, you've had a few drinks and it usually, yeah, it, it all goes on in there. It really does. It's, what happens um, in the men's? It's just horrible. <laughs> you just literally what go in, in we, do you, like, kind of compare sizes and then leave? Um, yeah, what happens there? We, we walk in, we we. And then we wash our hands and we leave. There's no talk. I bet they don't all wash their There's hands. There's no chat, chit-chat. No, not really. Because if you chit-chat, I guess... What yeah. happens, boys? Look at these. We've all gone quiet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what about... Is it, like, no, the boys, if it was in a set in a boys' toilet, it would be boring. It's well, the, it just, all goes on in the ladies. Yeah, it? it's all about, you know, it's all about <laughs> the mirrors and, you know, the gossip and, you know, the chit-chat and the advice. Oh, my God, the dishing out advice. We all think we're, like, complete shrinks in... in yeah in the toilets, you know, someone's crying, we're all there to help. There's a great phone sex bit in there, isn't there, where there's a lesson oh, about God. phone sex, she's brilliant when she does Give a great thing. lesson, great Oh, lesson. no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of talk that I think a lot of men are going to be shocked when they see it, but all girls are going to relate to it. Yeah. But there's a real place for that at the moment, isn't it, because obviously we've got bridesmaids which kind of played on that. Yeah. And it, it must be quite encouraging for yourselves as, as actresses that these roles are available now. Yeah, I mean, there's not many of them available. That's yeah. why it's been really nice. As soon as we read this script, the writer, Rachel's really young and she's brilliant. Um, and she was just sat in the toilet one day and overheard a conversation, <laughs> quite a rude one, and wrote it on a bit of toilet paper and that's where the whole idea came from. Um, and MJ is a really young director as well. But there's not many things like that. I mean, there is Girls in America, that TV show, and Bridesmaids, but there's not been many British films no. about s strong women and about women of today. So... I think it's really refreshing. As soon as we read yeah. the script, we, we well, knew. we all just kind of was like, I was, I was when I read it, I was like, this is great. I haven't read, it. I, I knew it was one of those scripts where you go, oh god, it's she's a really ballsy character, and they're all bounce off each other. But it's really naturally funny, and it's um girls can just you you know you go, oh god, I, I love it because you know every toilet you've been in, you you know that these scenarios have happened. So it's it's really refreshing to read something so real and so funny. And although the, 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 the jokes are very much kind of aimed predominantly, I suppose, at women, there is a lot in here for men as well, I think, especially in how night, just a night in the club is just kind of portrayed in general, how terrible it can be sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so awful. Do you, do you get the chance to go out much anymore to sort of to nightclubs and going out and stuff like that? Keep coming um, to yeah, not... Discotheque. Discotheque. <laughs> Disc 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 um, no, I mean, yeah, when you do go out, I mean, I, you, you tend to pick the good ones rather than the bad ones. I mean... Oh, I don't know, I go to some um, I've been to some dives as well, I mean, you know, where you've kind of just got it completely wrong, the whole night kind of just sort of tumbleweeds and domino effects and just goes horribly wrong, and you're kind of like, oh, my God, what am I doing here in this place in Harlow with a load of girls? I don't really know, but we're going to drink anyway just to save the night, and it actually just makes it obviously a lot worse. But um, she's the queen of the night set. <laughs> oh, God. She's always the last one standing this time. So. Well, you know, I love a dance, but you know, as I get older, you kind of tend to sort of skip those nights out now because it's just you don't want to you end up in tears. You end up in a lady's toilet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> calling exes. <Yeah. laughs> um, my my final question is, of course, this is quite obviously it's based on a stage play, so it's all quite intimate and it's all mostly a thick setting. Yeah, and both of you done much much theatre work. Did that help in regards to kind of? Um, grasping the kind of more intimate feel of, of this film and the more the kind of quick-witted sort of shot dialogue. 
I think that's what's really interesting yeah. about it, that it's just in that one set and it's just over one night. I mean, there's not many films that, right. that and that would keep you interested as well over just the one night and just the one location. But so it, there is something kind of stage about it, and because it was a play originally, she wrote it as a play and then adapted it to a film. Um, but she kind of kept the cameras rolling and all the banter yeah. between the... We, we became really close, you know. It was like going to work with mates. It wasn't really like work. Yeah. Um, so there was just a lot of banter and in those four walls. You it know, did those... help. It really helped the relationship because, you know, it was just kind of like that safety net and that's what you feel when you go into the girls' toilets. It's safe because none of the boys can hear you. You can say what you want and you're also... You can really let your boundaries down because you're, you're not really going to shock another woman, you know, because we've been through it all. And I think... That's this kind of... And that's why I really loved it as well, because I think men will really appreciate that, because it's not actually trying to impress too. men. It's actually just... It's it's funny for them to watch. I think they're going to find it genuinely funny, because it's it's like, oh, my God, these women... Like, they're a nightmare. They're a nightmare. <laughs> and, and they're but brilliant. The and, yeah, and it's quite impressive, really. Did Thanks. you like it? I did. Good. I was laughing a lot. Good. Good. You weren't scared by us. Uh, I was terrified by you. Are you scared now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. We'll let you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even <laughs> Thank, you so Thank you so much, you. darling. Glad you